That's right, surprise. I went to go see a DC movie in theaters. They're like, what? It's not a horror film or a comedy or an action thriller? Uh, you know, I, I try to mix it up a little bit sometimes. A little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Jamie Reyes suddenly finds himself in possession of an ancient relic of alien biotechnology called the Scarab. When the Scarab chooses Jamie to be its symbiotic host, he's bestowed with an incredible suit of armor that's capable of extraordinary and unpredictable powers, forever changing his destiny as he becomes the superhero Blue Beetle. Now, this movie has great scores so far and great numbers. IGN, Rotten Tomatoes, 70 and 78%. Among Google users, you got 82 to 92% so far. Now, I read one of the reviews on Google that was a five star, or no, this was, I'm sorry, he gave it a four star, four out of five. And just by reading this comment, this, this kind of made me question something. Now, keep in mind, me personally, I would give the movie about, I'd give it about a 7 out of 10, to be fair. 7 to 7.5 out of 10. I think, me personally, I think it was a slow buildup, but, you know, once you get to the fight scenes, I think they're pretty intense. I think they're interesting, very attention-grabbing. I think the actors and actresses, as usual, do a great job, especially with DC, Marvel, superhero stuff. Um, and as I stated before, I'm not like the biggest fan of this type of genre, but I mean, I think it's good. I think it's all right. I think it's entertaining. Anybody who is a superhero fan, I'd recommend you go see it. Still in theaters. Here's what one of the comments said on here. Here's what this person said. Blue Beetle is a fantastic introduction for our Latino superhero, the big screen. Beyond my bias from being Latino, this movie is filled heart, family, emotion, comedy, and superhero action. It's a great introduction story for Jamie Reyes and his family. From start to finish, the Reyes family is the center of this movie, and I love how their dynamic is explored. The actor who plays Blue Beetle shines as a superhero action star. His emotional and physical talent was very vital in this movie. Really, anything with the Reyes family is perfect in this movie. Now, let me pause right there. I agree with that, and I think that's legit, and I think it's totally reasonable. I'm going to tell you one thing that I'm surprised about that I haven't heard from the other side. Consider the fact that the main characters are Latino. When am I going to hear, oh, this is just more woke garbage. Just like they had Black Mermaid. Or just like they had, you know, Barbie and stuff like that. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of spit. <laughs> Kind of just spitballing right here. I, I think, I, I don't know. Because, I mean, they did this same mess. They pulled off the same garbage when they did Black Panther. They said, oh, why are they doing this? Oh, they got a movie, Black Marvel movie, and it's woke and it's garbage. And now you hear got Latino. So far, I haven't heard anybody complain about this. And I'm, now that I think about it after reading that comment, I'm kind of surprised. But, you know what? I think it's only a matter of time. I think it's only a matter of time. Not trying to be divisive, just being honest. It's only a matter of time. Again, and a lot of times as I'm, again, this is just me, but throughout most of the movie, I'm not even really like that much consciously embracing the fact that or like really acknowledging that the cast was Latino. I was just enjoying the movie just for the sake of enjoying the movie. I'm looking at the action scenes in the movie. I'm looking at the fight scenes, the superpowers, all of that. The person could be black, white, Mexican, Asian, Hispanic, whatever. So... Again, I agree with that person's comment and kudos to wording, you know, I think that was a good wording right there. I'm sure somebody out there is going to complain about it. Or as a matter of fact, since I'm here, if I go under one star, let me see if I find anything about that. Let's see. Disappointing on so many levels. Grandma picks up a space age Gatling gun and kills a bunch of bad guys. Uncle flies a beetle ship with no pilot experience. Blue Beetle is sapped of all his power but then gets mad and voila he is powerful again there's so much there's just so much ridiculousness and i don't mean humor that this movie just fails to entertain dc universe had so much going for it with the justice league cast of henry cavill ben affleck and gal gadot even black adam with dwayne johnson was promising mm, let me see let me see if i can find it hold on i'm sure it's got to be here somewhere Okay, what does this say? 
This movie is awful. Plainly put, it is a waste of your money and worse your time. For whatever reason, people from the USA think that the family portrayed here is an actual Mexican family that is shameful. As a Mexican, I can say that the portrayal of that family as Mexican makes me cringe. Unfortunately, a great many people that are not Mexican will see this and believe Mexicans to be like that, to act like that, to think like that. Mm. We are not the pandejos or pandejos portrayed in Hollywood movies and certainly not the one shown in this movie. Most Mexicans do not think nor act like the family in this movie. As for the movie itself, the action scenes fit the movie because the must and have, because they must and have little, I think that was worded wrong. I think he said they must have, must and have. Okay, let's just work with that for now. Little to no imagination. The special effects are good, but they don't manage to save the movie from falling into the same bad recipe DC has managed to concoct of late i'm trying to just make out the gist right here some of these words aren't exactly put together but i mean we've come across plenty of that so that's not a criticism against this person there is no thoughtful spinning of tail here there are no relatable characters in a blink of an eye an untrained unskilled unemployed newcomer can fight against a veteran warrior and win ridiculous again my only problem is and everybody has the right to have their own opinion. Again, at the end of the day, I, I, I don't take this that seriously because at the end of the day, it's movies. And as I've said in almost all of my videos, the, the same thing goes for Fast and Furious movies. The same thing goes for horror films, whether it's Scream, Halloween, or Mission Impossible, or anything in between, anything that you could name. They're all just movies. At the end of the day, there's going to be something in it that is not totally tied to reality. TV shows, same thing. Whether it's meant to be fantasy or it's meant to be... There's going to be something there. And at the end of the day, I'm still in the belief. And I could be wrong. I think that when most people go to the movies to go see a movie. They're there to be entertained. And I would say out of all the movies that came out this year in theaters. I've seen most of them, but I still missed some others. I probably missed about five or six movies. I haven't seen almost everything else this year. The only one that I could say that comes closest to being 100% realistic. I would say it's about 98, 99% realistic. It's probably nefarious. And I've talked about that in another video. And if you didn't see that, I'd recommend that. But again, that happens with a lot of these movies. There is no sense of growth for the character. He just wins because the screenwriters need him to within the time allocated for this bad movie to be over. Why on earth would you watch this movie? Because it is entertainment, bad entertainment, and it takes your mind away from everyday toil. Actually, no, it doesn't. That's not, that's not what movies do to me. I, I don't know what it does for everybody else, but again, speak for yourself on that one. Beyond this reason, there's no good reason to watch this movie. Disappointing is the least of it, but then DC has not really had any superhero movie to be more than disappointing. Except, in my opinion, the first Wonder Woman movie. I still didn't get to that yet. I, I think he's talking about... I don't know which Wonder Woman movie he's talking about. I'm not even going to waste 10 to 15 minutes speculating on that. It's just been announced that the DC Universe scripted for movies will be reset and start again with the new actors filling the same old roles even after 10 plus years of building up the current universe. If so, why waste your time in watching another superhero movie that set within this terminated DC Universe will not continue and will not be relevant? Well, I mean, again, it's an opinion, but overall, that's all, that's the only thing I'm going to say about the movie for now. There's not too much else to it. Obviously, I don't go as deep into superhero films as I do with horror and some of the other stuff, which I can go on for about 10 hours. So other than that, if you're a superhero fan, I said just go check the movie out yourself. Any fans of DC, Marvel, anything in that category. And if you like, if you're familiar with some of the actors and actresses in here, you like them. I think they have good performances here. So you know, go check it out, check for yourself, and you, you tell me how you think it is.